Good morning. It's the 25th of October 2022, about uh, 12 o'clock. I'm just making the video here from the most convenient spot I can get. Please understand. I'm looking down on it a bit, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so this is about data centers. Video 48i, electricity demanded by them. Now you'll all be familiar of advert advertisements on the television. Uh, showing uh, Amazon and all these and ew, you'll have a woman engineer I'm an engineer and I'm a woman and I'm colour as well usually <laughs> put a bit of a paint on her the will to that too and all that and if she's gay all the better and, and if lesbian better again than that <laughs> and then she oh I'm an engineer oh I'm an I work for Amazon oh we're all so green and all this thing you know you know the way it goes on this is baloney nobody gives a hoot what colour anyone is I have, I have 40 cattle and they're all different colours Except green, I, I never have a green animal because I don't believe in the green baloney. But anyway, the thing about it is that uh, this is the headline here in the Sunday Times business section. Just reading it for you, not saying any paper is the best. Just they are proving that. And what we here have here, uh, Amazon makes a diesel power grab. Amazon makes a diesel power grab. So Amazon, uh, here it 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 out in ton shop and various places. They have, uh, they have a problem in that if the electricity goes off, uh, they have to power these data centers, their centers, f with, um, with uh, uh, diesel. Now, there's legally, legal problems for them in that. So what this article by Laura Ruddy says is Amazon has applied for 105 backup diesel generators and four diesel powered fire pumps. I wouldn't worry about them, uh, located at the site of his new data centre in Clonshock Business Park, Technology Park in North Dublin. Okay, that's North Dublin, Clonshock. The units will have the ability to generate a total of six of 674. That's 674, 674 megawatts of energy. That's a lot of energy, 674. I mean, five years ago, on a on a on a, a, a summer's day in Ireland, we were only drawing down at night about three three thousand megawatts, and at night only two thousand megawatts. I'll just tell you the scale of this. So so they they so they are, they have units have the ability to generate six seven four. Now I know a man was in data centres. I don't know which, and he said there's just banks and banks of yellow caterpillar uh, diesel generators there. So they have that capacity. The details of the massive power installations are contained in an application for an emissions license to the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA. Applications for licenses have flooded into the agency since the Commission for Regulation, CRU, have made a decision not to allow data centers to have a connection to the grid unless they can generate their own electricity. Not to allow uh, data centers connect to the grid unless they have their own generation of electricity. So clearly the regulator knows that if there's a demand for electricity and people are going to be out and going to have to face the wrath of the, the public, Joe Duffy, oh I'm in the dark, oh I'm in the dark, no electric blanket, and Pat Kenny, and uh, Bright Night Tuberty, whatever you call him, and all these guys, and what do you call the other fella? Oh, Matt Cooper, oh, I have no lights, I have no lights, and then they won't be able to hear him on the radio or the telly. I mean, this, this, is, this is what they're worried about. But anyway, you see what the regulator is forced to do. He knows these data centers are pulling all these this, this energy out of, out, out of the grid. So they have to have their own, and the diesel engine, as I say, is a very, very good engine. Now, the, the, the gas turbine is slightly more efficient, I think. Maybe, maybe not much, but uh, there's no gas, maybe going to be no gas for them for them anyway okay so the diesel engine starts immediately you get your power like that there's no startup you just push the button and it's away you'll find them in hospitals and big 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 public buildings and everything now so i've explained that to you now nine of the ten applications this year are for amazon data centers many of which have received permission to be built in south dublin up in Eamon Ryan's constituency, maybe a few jobs there. And uh, I mean, we can imagine the, 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 the cost of real estate there and property. Uh, but that's the thing. That's where it's all done in Dublin. So in effect, South Dublin, the home of the Greens, is one of the biggest emitters of CO2 in the country. 
one of the biggest emitters because we know now that the consumption has to be to keep them going will have ability to generate 674 megawatts more than a quarter of the grid in most times and this is in south dublin get me point now this is where the greens are saying oh we are green oh you vote for us you get it we save the planet and they're pumping that amount of emissions right in their own place right according to the epa there are currently 300 individual medium combustion plants registered in the data center sector there's 300 registered they call them combustion plants these are diesel generators 300 of them registered right they have to be registered these are diesel engines d-i-e-s-e-l diesel engines that generate between 5 megawatts and 20 megawatts of power for backup generation <laughs> i have two of them the best one does four four kilowatts so there's five 20 megawatts that generate between five and 20 megawatts can you think of the roar of them and the fuel needed to be imported for backup generation an industrial emissions license is required when the units will generate more than 50 megawatts of power and are considered large combustion plants so 50 50 megawatts that's quite a oh, I, that's a huge engine 50 megawatts would be nearly a ship engine like that i mean i think i think i said before a megawatt is 10 lorry engines 10 ordinary diesel lorry engines a megawatt that's how much they are so now since january last year a total of 10 facilities nine operated by amazon one by microsoft have applied for industrial emissions licenses now in total in total, 13 data centers have applied for such licenses. K2, Equinox, ECH, Echelon applied for permits in 2020 and 2022 ahead of the CRU decision. So when they heard this was the case, they got in the licenses and there'll be a sum. Anyone making, if anyone that had shares in the production of diesel generators will make an absolute mint. And I, I have to admit, I don't know what we were thinking of, but I think that a lot of these companies do not have shareholdings as such because they're mostly small companies. The law requiring companies that generate large amounts of energy to apply to apply for emissions licenses was enforced here in 2013. So they put it in in 2013, they have to apply for the emissions licenses. Microsoft said it intends to build 22 gas generators with a, a capacity of 162 megawatts, 162 times 10 lorry engines, right? That would be used for 2,920 hours, two, nine, 2 we'll say 3,000 hours a year. Now, there's 8,760 hours in a year. Get that? There's 8,500 hours in a year. And these, these things that are going to be gas generators would be used for 3,000 hours rounded. So, three-eighths. Imagine that. That's about 36% of the time these are going to be running, pumping out the emissions a year. At its site in Grange Castle Business Park near Dublin. So here you have all these business parks and the big exhaust going up into the sky right in the middle of uh, Clondalkin. Clondalkin, it says. It is intended that the gas plants will act as a standby electricity supply for data centres as they are located in what is noted as a constrained area in terms of electrical grid capacity. So there's only a certain amount of cabling going in there, and all of a sudden they're expected to supply them. The, nobody there ever had a problem with electricity until this crack started. The company said, in August, the Sunday Times reported that Amazon and Microsoft were looking for other to other markets for their grid lockout. So in August, the Sunday Times reported that Amazon and Microsoft are looking to other markets after after the grid lockout i don't quite understand what that means but i just want to show you a little diagram here now folk without using uh, uh, without using more paper you see this this is a bar here and this is a bar here ireland is providing data center facilities for the whole world and if the if there was a bar uh, of 10 inches in, in height 
for what the total data centers in Ireland are. This is what there'd be if there were none. You'd only have this amount. So we'd only have one tenth of the data centers and the emissions if we only had data centers for our own domestic use. We are being providing the data center capacity for the whole world. And so we have 10 times the emissions. Meanwhile, the Irish farmer, who's native and has a vote, is being pushed out. It's been pushed out and told he must reduce his livestock while this is going on. And this shows you the hatred of the Irish government, Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael, um, Sinn Féin and the Greens and, and, and people before puberty or profit as they call them. They all hate, hate you and I. They hate the farmer. They hate the local people. And because of some rare strange thing about the democratic system in the world, the more people hate a politician, the more they vote for him. I don't understand it. Maybe somebody else has an idea. But here we have this colossal, unnecessary uh, data centre put here because they say the climate is good, it's good in Scotland and everywhere else, put here because they're getting everything going and because the Irish government thinks that they're a great idea. And yet they, they're able to, able to get people like myself, not me, to vote for them in the next election to do this. Now, the other thing is about air quality. I mean, Eamon Ryan t talked recently about how many thousand people die a year because of the burning of coal and they're banning coal. Diesel emissions are not, are not healthy either. There are particles in diesel emissions. If you take a, a car now you buy, you have to put AdBlue into it if it's diesel, and even a tractor. You have to put uh, AdBlue, which works in the, in the exhaust pipe to neutralize some of the harmful uh, nitrous oxide and sulfur, sulfur oxide, don't, sulfuric oxide. I don't know the exact chemical offhand, but they have that there and it's a good thing. Now, here these are pumping this stuff up into the air like, like blazes. And they're, they're stopping you having a coal fire because they say it's bad for your health. And they're doing that right in Clondalkin, in the middle of Clondalkin, Ballyfermot, all that area. The people can go to hell. The people can go to hell. That's the reality, folks. These data centers need massive amounts of power. Our government has picked these people over us. There's no reason why we couldn't have a little bit of data centers, I'm not saying that, and maybe a wee bit extra here and there, but they are all enthralled by this. This is technology. This is technology. The farmer can go to hell. The poor old lady with her little coal fire in Dublin or elsewhere can go to hell. And the, what I'm trying to do is to bring this to people's attention, that maybe some daughter or some visitor would say to that old lady, your government is doing this on you, you voted for them, you've got to stop, you've got to stop, you either don't vote at all, or you vote for some party that will try and stop it, or someone that will try and stop it. So we'll see you back for something else quite soon, bye bye folks, bye.